times of what a fitness program is going to cost. And once you buy the fitness program, it's only one time cost. You get to keep it forever and do it right. if you want to. But you keep having to pay month after month or year after year to go to a gym. So in the long run, yeah, it might be a higher initial investment, but the payoff is that you get to have that fitness program forever. Mm -hmm. and Include the price of gas to get to the gym every day, too. That absolutely. Too. That's another good point. It's like yeah. that's, that's your only cost. It doesn't, doesn't really cost so much to walk to the living room and pop in a DVD. It costs them to drive to the gym. It costs them extra time to drive to the gym. And that's right. not to mention the gym membership as well. Well, and that's kind of how I've sold a couple of programs because um, they, I said, how much do you spend on your gym membership? And, you know, they told me and I said, I've had a gym membership for a while and I wasn't seeing the results like I've seen with this program. So the initial $130 or, you know, however much your program is, is completely worth it because it's very specific. You're not sitting there planning out your workout. It's already set for you. So really I saw the my most results using these programs and drinking Shakeology. I wasn't seeing them as much going to the gym because quite frankly, I didn't know what I was doing. I don't know, you know, and that's, that's kind of what makes people not want to go to the gym in the first place. It's very intimidating using the weights if you don't know what you're doing. So that's, that's kind of how I sold a couple of them because there's no planning, there's no guessing, there's no feeling intimidated. It's set out for you, it's laid out for you, and um, so that's kind of what I've used too. So, plus you always have to remember when somebody buys a program from you, you're technically their coach, so they have a support system. They have somebody that they can come and they can ask questions to. You know, if they don't, if they're confused about something, you're that's what you're there for to answer their questions. But you're absolutely right, Kelly. A lot of people go to the gym and they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. So they drive, they send the money to go to the gym. They drive there to stand around and say, okay, what do I do next? And probably don't have the most efficient workout. Um, so being able to follow a program that you can keep and you can run through the program as many times as you want to, you know, there's plenty of coaches I know that have ran through programs two or three times before they even did a different program. And they've kept seeing results. So that's that's a very good point. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, you look at these like uh, success stories, people who have lost, say, like 150 pounds or whatever. Um, obviously, that didn't happen in 90 days, like, say, one round of P90X. You go through their fitness journey, and they did, like, two or three rounds of P90X. And they still continued seeing those results throughout the program. Because a lot of times what happens is those the programs still allow you to work out at your own density, whether you're a beginner or somebody that's highly advanced. You can still push yourself at your own effort. So it's like you can, just because you do it once doesn't mean they're going to stop getting results. The second time around, they can still get those good results, you know, on the second and third time around. You know, so the fitness program ends up being an incredible value for them because it's the one-time investment, but it yields so many great results for them. And like, um, as far as like, not really fitness programs, but like Shakeology goes, you always, I know I've told you that before, but as far as like being a meal replacement, people have to keep that in mind too. You know, they're spending this money on a month long supply of a meal, basically that they would be in turn, maybe going to a fast food or wherever they eat, you know, spending ten dollars going through a drive through easy when they're spending four dollars on a shake every day. You know, so they're basic they're saving themselves six bucks, if that were the analogy. So yeah. I mean, always keep that in mind too. Yeah. Like that price objective uh, document in the back office. What's that? What's that? Is there a price objective um, document in the back office? I believe we I think we kind of went off a while ago, I think. I'm pretty sure there is. Allie's looking for it. Give us a second here. Everybody see that? Yes. Yes. It's uh see we went to went to my business. It's under form I think it's under forms. My and documents. forms and documents, yeah. Yeah. There you know, there's the yeah, because this is all I know is. Yeah, this is uh, I can't see this, but 
the method, the ejection response method, I don't know. All I know is, and the first, the first one is a sample message about cost. I don't know about that. All I know is I want that money be something that stops me. I have a few, few people enrolling in the coach and making a list of people to invite to a challenge group. We invite their list of people, and it only takes three or four people saying yes, making them enough money to help cover costs of their own challenge pet. So, yeah, they have tools to help handle the objections as well. Where did you say that was at? It's under my business when you're in the back office. Oh, yeah, okay. And it says my forms and documents. There's Got also it. another one that I had printed off, and it's how to build relationships. I'm sure Julie's familiar with that one also, using form talking to somebody about their family and their occupation, recreation, and then send your message, how to approach like somebody with um, like a beach body in general. You know, if you're just start reconnecting with somebody and you want to start, family's a great thing. You know, how's the family? How is your job? Think, what do they like to do? You know, which could lead you right into saying, well, I could help you by, you know, whether it be you're posting a challenge group or whatever message you're trying to send to them. Did you find it, Danielle? Uh, I found the forms. I'm just trying to find the exact document. Okay. Yeah. I'm make sure it's not a different spot. How you know? I think that's what it's under. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it's on the mobile version. Oh. No. Is that you? Mm hmm Coach basics. All right. Uh, so we'll talk about this. Um, Julie or Danielle and Kelly, Coach Basic. Tell me what your experiences are so far. Um, I enjoy it. I think that um, it's helpful because you're constantly reflecting and constantly thinking about the same things which at first I was kind of annoying to me <laughs> but like just answered these questions yesterday but um you know after a little bit of time I've realized how important that really is and um reevaluating how many people I'm talking to every day and and the, the funny thing is is I really haven't reached out to many people they're reaching out to me just through my posts and things so um obviously I'm reaching back out to them but you know me starting the conversation I really haven't had to do a whole lot of that because of just people seeing what I'm doing um I wish that there were people who took it more seriously I know that he's been cutting out people from the group who's not taking it seriously and I understand that sometimes it's just not the time for people but um but I also like how people kind of are building relationships with each other commenting on other people's videos and things and I think my new goal is gonna gonna be to have like the ugliest still moment on my video because <laughs> both of them are like <laughs> I'm just gonna keep keep going for an ugly face contest. So. 
<laughs> Maybe I'll host that con- contest later. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, so it's helpful, even though we're focusing on like three very basic skills. You realize you understand the importance of them overall. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, because I, I just want to make sure that it's, like, helping you guys. Because when I went through Coach Basics, it was a 60-day format. So it was a little bit different than when you guys went through it. And I know Jeff has kind of revamped a lot of stuff. So I want to make sure that it's actually, like, helping you guys. Yeah, um, yeah we we beat this last uh, Wednesday night on our Diamond powwow call. So um, that's why I wanted to bring this up um, because I'm trying to give feedback um, your guys' feedback to the group and, you know, because we're trying to tweak the way we do things so we become better and better each time we do it. Um, that's why um, your feedback is so important. I shared some of your guys' feedback on the call that night and it kind of got our discussion going about maybe uh, we're going to change, probably going to change a few more things for the next Coach Basics group. Um, uh, we're going to talk, we're going to start the leaders are going to start posting more videos in the group because um, I understand like the pace is very, very fast and it, it's hard. And I, I brought that up to the group because I mean, it sounds like some of the, some people are getting kind of, I don't want to say buried, but you know, just <laughs> I'm getting a little buried. Let's just be honest. <laughs> no, but I think, I think a lot of, yeah, I think a lot of mine is that I'm in school and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, it's hard. When yeah. life happens, it, it's hard to stay up with that. Yeah. Because there's assignments. There's a lot of things to do every single day. Mm-hmm. Even even if you do the work, and it still takes time for you to like type it all up and report it. Right. So. Um, I think too, like a lot of times, it literally since it is repetitive, you already know kind of pretty much what your questions are going to be. So it you don't have to do like complete sentences, you know, like you were in school, but you can just do it. Like what's the number five. And so normally it doesn't take me any more than 10 minutes to do unless it's a video and I have to record it 20 times. <laughs> but you know, otherwise the comments really, you know, it's like two quick things in the comment box and then you just fill in your file. So I don't know. I, uh, it's kind of fast paced, but and it's hard to keep up, but you know, gotta yeah, make it a priority, I guess. Include a little bit, maybe some different things, um, like maybe like a little bit like a back office training as an example is one of the things that we're going to focus on a little bit. And um, Jeff was talking about at least once a week or biweekly, um, throw out a post that allows you guys to give immediate feedback. Okay, what are some of the great areas? What are some of the struggles that we're having? Um, so that way we can kind of retouch on some things that maybe you just we just kind of like glazed over, just flew right by and you didn't quite grasp. So it'll give us a chance to kind of revisit, you know, topics that might have been unclear. So uh, hopefully, I'm hoping that next time it'll um, it'll be more beneficial in the sense that it's not going to be just like, in one year and out the other it's going to be okay here's the assignments yeah we're moving on day by day but was there anything you, you want to look at again um to help reinforce to help enhance understanding so that's one of the things that we're going to be working on for the next um we might implement some of these things in this group that we're doing now in your guys's group but hopefully we're, we're one, of, one of the things sorry i'm sorry one of the one of the things that I've done for my groups, or for my coaches, they have three choices for their coach basics. They can do Jeffrey's, they can do mine that I created, or they can do the Doug Fitzgerald ones that automatically get sent through email every day. And right now I have one doing Jeffrey's group and one doing Doug's group. Okay. Now how does, so is it the same, a lot of the same content in Doug's group? Oh. It, it's, he combined it between, he was one of the originators for the, for the one from Beachbody. He yep. was on that board. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the stuff is his, but he also has his own videos. And I love his, especially his motivational videos. Okay. Um, but it's just, I think people relate in different ways. So that's why I let them pick. 
which way they would like. My, the, the one that I created actually has steps so they can do them at their own pace. It's not this day, do this, this day, do this. It's mm -hmm. do, do the steps in order, but you can do three steps in one day if you wanted to. Yep. That's, um, that was one of the formats we discussed actually on Wednesday is, okay, here's your assignments. Now you can kind of complete them on your own time. Um, and, and with the size of our group, that'd be hard to do. Um, however, we discussed the possibility of trying to incorporate that. I mean, it would take like maybe dividing up, you know, have like almost like little subgroups within the, the one main group. Right. But that is something, do, you, do your coaches like that, uh, having being able to do that at their own time, their own pace? None of them are using it right now. Oh, not none right now, okay. How has it went in the past? Is it good or do people kind of – I don't want to say I don't necessarily want to call it slack I guess but like if they have if they can do it on their own time does it like how do you what are the results like I guess I, I haven't had anybody get through it I've only had the two coaches so far that have started okay. it okay. and um I've told them pick one or the other because if you do all three you're going to get overwhelmed if you do two you're going to be overwhelmed yeah okay yeah, yeah. definitely agree with having them do one um yeah, that's the only concern is, like, if they're given their own time, then, you know, life happens, they put it off, and then that's why it's just, like, I see the advantage of that, but also, like, having the pace of the group, and, you know, kind of forces you to keep on top of things at the same time. Uh, Danny and Kelly, what are your thoughts on the different formats that we just kind of want? I, I think if I had the opportunity to do it on my own time, like you say, it, would, it wouldn't say slack, but... I don't know. I just kind of need some structure to have an assignment every every day, kind of thing. So it kind of helps you to have that extra push, like when you yeah. have an assignment on a day to day basis. It helps you, like, okay, I got to finish this one, or if the days go by, you're gonna have kind of an assignment build up almost. An assignment. Right. That helps you. Yeah. Well, and then you know what your expectations are that you have to do a post every day or whatever instead of this is you need to do X, Y, and Z this week. And then obviously other things are going to start taking priority over that because that's how life is. And then you're going to, it's going to be Saturday night and you're going to be like, Oh yeah, I need to do all my posts because I haven't done any this week, but at least this way you just build it into your daily routine where whether it's five o'clock when you get out of work or when you wake up in the morning, you just do it. And it's just it's kind of your routine. So. Okay. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll just have to see where Jeff's coach basics group goes. And like I said, we're going to keep working on it, hopefully get better and better with it. I have noticed, though, um, I've been kind of following that group, and I think the 30-day format is working well for everybody. Because when I went through the 60-day, um, a lot of people dropped off after the first 30 days. I mean, the group – went from having over a hundred people in it to having half of that, if that, mm -hmm. that we're actually posting. So I'm happy to see that people continue, are continuing to post throughout the entire 30 yeah. days. So. Yeah. And it's, and it's clear we're going to, we are going to stay at the 30 day format as well. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's important that the sponsoring coach is in there with their coaches as well. Like when I went through it, I didn't have a sponsoring coach in with, me mm -hmm. and so nobody was actually even reading my homework or anything so I kind of figured well why do I need to do it if, if nobody's, nobody's watching me or... accountable right right I can totally see yep. that mm -hmm. so um, let's see what everybody's reading oh well, yeah what's everybody reading right now for personal development <laughs> I'm doing the compound effect. Can you see my compound effect? How are you guys? The big picture. Tony Julie's Martin. reading Tony. Yep. How is it? I like it. I'm on chapter five. All right. Excellent. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about getting that book before the Tony Horton event. Yeah, we want him to sign get, it. Get him to sign it. I had it with me on the cruise, but I, I didn't want to disturb him to ask for his autograph. Oh, everybody disturbs him. He's... <laughs> <laughs> to, put it, to put it lightly, he's a man of the people. He loves the attention. So 
he had no problem. That's funny. I was standing around him and he was like, all right, well, you get to get a picture with me if you get down there and do 10 push-ups. Yes. And then Andy was like, I'll do 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he said, didn't he say 50 or something like that? Yeah, like, I'm like, I think Hello. Andy is the only one that raised his hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so did you do 50 or what? No, I, I didn't even get to do push-ups. After then he was like, I got to go. But it was funny. He started walking away and everybody kept, like, it was like a trail. Everyone just popped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we just started The Alchemist. So I can't say too much about it yet because we're only like page 20. Yeah. Um, we just finished pretty much like all of these. If anybody has read any of these. I read GoPro. Good book. Very good book. Yeah, GoPro is something I'm going to probably read through a couple of times. That was a very useful book right there. It's like, I really liked the, the compound effect. Yep. That's I buy that for all of my coaches. That's what I wanted both of them to start with. Yeah. I think that's what both of them are reading right now. Yeah, Ellie and I kind of agreed. Probably the best way to go through is compound effect, and then they can read Go, GoPro, GoPro after that. GoPro right after yeah. that. Just wanted them to understand the fact of doing the small things every day builds up to something really big and great. Yeah. So, um, I know, Kelly, you said you started the compound effect and you were like, couldn't set it down. You were like straightening your hair and reading it at the same time. <laughs> so uh, have you finished it? Or are you still reading it? Or um, I'm almost done with it. But it's, I don't know. It was funny because I don't um, get to joy read very often. And so when I was doing that and I was reading while I was doing my hair in the morning and then I felt like a little kid, you know, reading under the sheets at night. <laughs> My parents are going to come in and yell at me because I have to get up early. So, um, but I, I enjoy it because it really makes you think and it really makes you like evaluate every single thing you do. And, um, I told my fiance, I said, you need to read this book when you're done with law school. So hopefully yeah. you will. <laughs> yeah. 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 We also read, we also read Feeling Forward. Yep. That was, that was pretty good. That was another good one. Yep. Yeah. Um, we just got, I don't know if anybody listened to the National Wake Up Call last Monday, but um, the jab, jab, jab. Yeah, jab, 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 uh, right, cut, right hook. Right hook, yeah. yeah. We just ordered that one, too. And that so. was supposed to be on focused on social media, I believe, so yeah. we will keep you guys posted on that one. So I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping it shows up on Monday or tomorrow when I – check the mailbox hopefully it'll be there yeah because that's been um that was a good one um so i don't know is, it, is there anything anybody yeah, needs we got less to, than a minute yeah less than a minute and the recording is going to stop i can send out another link if there's anything important anybody wants to recap on or we can call it good after this i'm good good Silence, please. yeah good okay so we're good for next sunday at four still Awesome. Cool. Have a great week, everybody. All right, you too. Thanks, Bye. you too. See ya.